How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine. Good morning from the Vota region of Ghana, the capital city to be precise. This place is called Ho. Yeah, so if you don't know, Ho Ho is in the Vota region of Ghana. But I feel so good this morning because I woke up from Vota Serene Hotel. The environment itself is so serene. I'm supposed to spend my whole time in here, but I cannot do that. I got to know a young man who is doing incredible stuff in here. You know what? I told you that 2022, I'm not going to joke with you guys. I'm here to inspire you. I'm here to inspire the youth to go out there and start something. This guy I'm talking about in here said he's a big fan of Watermeyer. He started his own pigree with just one pig, man. And currently he owns 200. I think it's something that I need to put on camera. A big shout out to Silver Star Property for giving me a car to help me promote Ghana better. And I just want to say a big shout out to Japan Motors for offering Nissan Navara. I mean, we've been driving around the Volta region. We've got a lot of portals, but this car is super strong. And don't forget that this car is assembled right here in Ghana. Come with me. Let's go meet this young, amazing entrepreneur. Welcome to Elon Farms. How are you doing? You know, I came to enjoy uh, Vota Serene Hotel okay. and I was told that there's a young man who watched my videos who is doing incredible I'm a, I'm stuff. A, I'm a big fan. A big fan? I'm a very big fan. I've I'm been a, a fan since 2014. Hey! Yeah. Which means China Yeah, days. when you were in China and uh, your first video, the one that went viral, the one that we were eating in the gutter, I was actually watching it live. My brother. When you were premiering the video. Premiering the video. Yeah, so <laughs> through you, I follow uh, Taiwo, those guys in Nigeria, your lady, Miss Trudy. Yeah, I subscribe to all their channels. You, you guys are the real inspirations. Watching you make us who we are today. Bro, I'm so emotional right now, but what I want to say is that because of what you've done, that's why I'm here. My name is Watermaya the one and only annoying village boy from Ghana. I'm on a journey to change the narrative. I'm on a journey to inspire so many uh, youth of Africa to go out there and spark a change. You're one of Thank the you. people that are changing the narrative about we not, we just going to school and coming out, sitting in an office. Looking for employment, looking for someone to pay you for what you can do and get much more. What? I. I, is this shoes for me though? Yeah, it's for you. It's for you. See, it's, it's this for guy you. want me to remove my sleepers. <laughs> yeah, you have to remove your sleepers. Today, you are not going to be in sleepers. <laughs> <laughs> As for today, I'm not giving you the yeah, chance to be in sleepers. Oh, don't worry, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome once again. Thank you so much. Mm. Um, let, me, let, me, let me give you a, a brief history about my farm. Your farm? Actually, it started in my mom's kitchen. Huh? Yeah. Your farm started in your mom's kitchen? Yeah. It started. What, what kind of farm starts in the kitchen? A pigry. You, you didn't pigry? Yeah. But you started a pigry in your mom's in, kitchen? In my mom's kitchen. How? I wasn't having space. I wasn't having money. I was a national service personnel. So the payment that I got from national service, I started, to, I used it to buy four piglets that I kept in my mom's backyard. The, 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 like her kitchen, there's a little space there. So I kept the pigs there for almost six months until I was able to make two structures. So this farm started in the kitchen. So you have two structures right now? Yeah, we have two structures that can take maybe about 300 animals. So the national service money that you made, yeah. that's what you used? Yeah, that's what I used to set up this farm. Uh, how much was your... 350. 350 cities. You paid 350 cities? Yeah, we paid 350 so cities. So you started your business with 350 Yeah, I started my business with 350 cities. Wait, wait. <laughs> how, how many pigs do you have right now? I have over 100 pigs. Bro. Almost 200, Almost. as of now. Yeah, and even we are in the off season, so during festive seasons, we have more. So let's say we have sold, so far, the farm is, uh, the farm will be three years this February, and we have sold more than 400 animals. Whoa. Yeah. Listen, you're born and raised in... I was born and raised in who? I've never left who. I'm a village boy like you. <laughs> 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 this guy knows me a lot, man. Hey, I'm, 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 born I'm, and raised in I'm, I'm born and raised in Ho. I got everything that I had in Ho. I'm, I'm, I'm an agri engineer as well. I'm a bachelor's degree holder in agri engineering. Listen, my brother did agri engineering, yeah? Yeah. 
but he doesn't even want to have anything to do with agriculture. Okay. But anyway, my brother is still in. Uh, mm. He is the one managing my father's cocoa farm. Okay. Um, let me know what really inspires you to do what you do. Let's see. For example, I have love for animals. That's one side of me. So since I was a kid, I knew I knew I will become a farmer. Yeah, my it's my dream to be a farmer. So I want to I want I want to help others as well and be an entrepreneurship for farmers. Whoa. So which means that I want to be an entrepreneur. You want to be an entrepreneur? You're yeah. already an entrepreneur. Yeah, I'm already an entrepreneur. Yeah, yeah. What you doing yeah. is an yeah. entrepreneurship. Yeah. And I'm a consultant and so so I set up farms for people. Uh, you set up farms so people. Yeah, like I set up farm yeah in Ho and around Ho. I do Japan, Nive, half farms, uh Taingbe different different locations so let, let me understand so mm. you set up farms for them and they, they pay you right yeah i do the setup for you i come i check the land the structure we have two systems what we have here is the deep litter and the concrete system so i i can do both so it depends on what the customer wants listen um i have to put this guy's number on the screen this is a personal appeal if you're looking forward to have a pre farm He's the right person to contact, even if you are in Accra. He said he has never left home, but he will still come to Accra, Kumasi, Takradi to set up your pre farm for you. I mean, let, get, keep him busy. Let's keep him busy, you know. <laughs> Let's keep him busy. Brother, come with me. Don't want to be farmers. They don't want to be farmers. They don't they don't understand. They think farm farming is dirty or it doesn't pay. But the actual fact is we import a lot of food into the country. Whilst we are unemployed, why can't we produce the food here? These pigs that you are seeing here, they are eight weeks old. How many weeks? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Yeah. So how how, how long is it gonna take for it to be ready? Six for the months. Market? So six months, almost all of them will sell more than 1,000 Ghana cities. So if you have 10, you are making 10,000. So as a young guy, and you are waiting for someone to pay you. To pay you 250 yeah, Ghana cities a month. You can actually start something. Yeah, you can start something. Teach us, bro. Hmm. Well, this year, I'm teaching people how to fish, yeah? So I don't have money. I want to be a, a pig farmer. A pig farmer. Hmm. But what is the first thing that I need to do? The first, the first thing you have to do is you have to look for land. That's the most important thing. Then after the land, you have to set up the structures. The structures, even you have to make the structures in such a way that the pigs will be very clean. But is it not expensive to set up structures? Yeah, it's quite expensive. So you have to start gradually. Gradually. Yeah, so I sold some, I'll buy materials, then you, some will give birth, you wait for them. You, it, it, it doesn't take long. This one is all in three years. You've been able to do this in three in years? Three years. So he's trying to tell you that it's not a matter of you just starting, starting today, today and making and it making, today. Ma making it today. No, it's a process. It's a process. It's a process. It's a long process. You still want to show me something? Or yeah, I want to show you. Let's let's but let's take, let's so let's take a look. Yeah, I have. Normally, we do ginger and other crops here as well in oh, the dry you're, season. You're the same person. Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Yeah, so I have farm hands and Woodemeyer. Mm -hmm. If I tell you, I've been able to employ about five people now, and I'm paying them. I look after people in school and I pay their school fees. I help the needy children in the community as well. I give back to the community. You give back to the community yeah. based on what? Yeah, what I gained from here. This guy is an inspiration, man. I, I don't know if you are watching this video. You have to, first of all, like this video. It's very important for me. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel and share this video. Because we need to let a lot of um, the youth of Africa have a piece of this video. I mean... We, I've been telling guys that agriculture is the future. Let me show you the first pig that I actually got. Okay. This is... This is your first pig? Yeah, this is my first pig. This is the one that was this, in your mom's yeah, kitchen? Yeah, this was the one that was in my mom's kitchen. Your mom was not mad at you? She was not mad. People complained, they said whatever, but she wanted me to be successful. Your mom should be proud of you right now. And... Um, so listen, this is a male pig. No, right? this is a female pig. A female pig. Yeah, actually, she littered 17 piglets on her first litter. That's how come my farm blew up. Uh, but, but but if one 
female pig mm. how, how did the female pig decided to give birth yeah i have males i have i have companions for her also but what did you get a companion then i got them from accra from accra yes yes sir so most of my stock some are from cape coast and the rest the remaining they are from accra uh, is it a lucrative business it's re it's very very lucrative Sure it pays that? a lot. It pays a lot. It pays a lot. But you know, the youth of Africa today don't want to be farmers. Yeah, it what, depends. What, what, what are you we have to tell them? we have to change their mindset. What? Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I'm in for. guy he's now two years his name is Jones how did he become your good friend bro uh, actually I got him when he was so small so I had to keep him sometimes even with my dogs at night wow. yeah okay Maya meet my mother mama hello how are you I'm good good to see you thank you I, I want to ask you yeah you took your son to school yes. you went to I went to a uh, uh, I did a distance course with Kenya University. That was my last. That's bachelor's degree in engineering. And then you, he came back and started a pig farm in your kitchen. Yes. Were you not mad that he's doing pig in your kitchen? No, I was happy. Really? Yes. Why were you happy? You don't because want to... he is doing something good. He started something good. That's why I didn't mind. Oh wow. Yes. But you were not mad the fact that. You took him to school, you expect him to be in a suit in the we morning, didn't go, to work. go to work. You didn't want to see that? No. Really? This one too is good. This one too is good? Yes. Well, um, I guess a lot of African parents have to be yeah, like Yeah, yeah. They are all, almost all of them, they are like, all our moms, we are their first all love. All our moms, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but some of our some, moms, yeah, some of our moms <laughs> want to see us in suits. In suits, yeah. In they are, oh, we, are, we are going to make it. We, we've made it in life. Mm. But I, I, then I, I'm just going to tell you that your mom should be proud of you right now. Mommy, yeah. are you proud of him? Yes, I'm very proud. Maya, oh, yeah. uh, this is a uh, small pork. I'm already from washing my this, eyes. This is what we call a ham roast. Ham roast? Yeah. I love the fact that these days, any farmer that I go and meet, they already <laughs> prepare something for me <laughs> from farm to, to table. my stomach. Ah, not to table, uh, to, to my your stomach. stomach. Yeah. Directly to your stomach. <laughs> to and my stomach. See, I want to tell you thank you so much for being an African, not an African. Okay. So which means that if you're an African, you are capable of doing mm. great stuff in Africa. And um, sorry, but are you going to enjoy this meat with me or is this for myself? It's for you. Your name is even on the pork. Hey, we see. grow. I see. Maya. Turn the camera. Turn the camera. Maya. We grow. <laughs> There's what the Maya written on the pork. Huh? Yeah. That, how? Ah. This is your name. How? Your name is on the pork. My name is on the pork? Yeah. I'm even in a hurry. Mommy, you want to help me? <laughs> I can help you. Whoa! Mm -hmm. What am I? Hey! <laughs> I'm sorry, you know, anyone who wants to eat the pork has to eat the side. Yeah, then you, they want, they want, they want, your name, name is for you. It's for, it's for, it's for, it's for, it's for, it's for, <laughs> bro, I want to say you're an inspiration and uh, keep doing what you do. Don't stop. Um, I believe that after this day, what is, where, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years, man? God should just open doors for me. And the doors, by the time I come back here next time, we'll be having 20,000 pigs. We'll be having 20,000 pigs. Thank you so much for having me, man. Thank you, Wadamaya, for visiting me. Uh, it's a pleasure. Saying, oh. Thank you, but I'm so glad that my camera guy don't eat pork. Mm -hmm. He's not a Muslim. Though. Okay. He's the only non-Muslim guy who doesn't eat, eat pork. pork. Okay. <laughs> you guys want? Just grab a chilled beer and let's enjoy this. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.